Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very really much. Really appreciate, appreciate your time. Uh, what was your reaction when you first heard that Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick asked that you come to Texas to help Senator Cruz and Texas Republicans get out the vote? Well, Dan has been a friend of mine for a long time, and he is just a great guy. And Ted and I, I mean, we went to war during the presidential, during the primaries, but he is a great person, and he loves this state, and I think he's doing really well. It looks like he's really doing well, and I can tell you we had over 100,000 people apply to come to watch what we're going to be doing in a little while. And uh, so Dan did make the initial request, and it was my honor right away immediately. There was no thought about it. Were you surprised about coming to Texas and having to do that here? No, because I do it anyway. I think he is gonna, he's going to do well. I think Ted's going to do well. He's a very superior kind of a guy. You look at academically and, you know, up here, very important. And he, he's doing a good job for the state. I can tell you, we worked on a lot of things. When you had the hurricane, Ted was right out there, and John Cornyn, they were out right there. They were really pitching hard that you get the, the money you needed to fix things, and it worked out really well. So he's done a lot for the state. As you know, uh, Democrats have been making a lot of your 2016 tweets about Senator Cruz repeating the fact that you call him lying Ted. What do you say to that? Well, now I call him Texas Ted. Now I call him Texas Ted. No, it's, look, it's all fun. And they probably are. I guess they probably do. But uh, actually, I was asked that question a little while ago. I said, no, now we call him Texas Ted. Congressman O'Rourke said the other day that he thinks that there is enough evidence out there to impeach you, to have the House impeach you. What do you say to that? He's, he's a lightweight. He shouldn't even be running, in my opinion. And uh, it's, they're now they're talking about Kavanaugh. They're talking about me. They want to impeach everybody. They're not going to impeach anyone. Uh, they want to try winning. First, they have to win. They have to learn how to win. So far, they haven't. I think we have a really good chance of holding the House and increasing the Senate, looking more and more like we're going to increase the Senate. And uh, they all have to start winning. I will say this, most Democrats have said, don't even mention that word because we're going to lose. We're going to lose if you mention that word. He's one of the few guys that said, oh, let's do that. The only thing they could impeach me for is for having created the best economy in the history of not only Texas, but in the history of this country. We have probably the greatest economy in the history of our country. And very importantly, uh, just came out today, Consumer confidence, the highest it's ever been in our country. So I don't know, are they impeachable offenses? But it's, uh, we're doing well. The country is doing really well. And you look at our military being rebuilt. You look at what we've done for our vets. Uh, uh, we, we're very proud of what we've done. Given what you say are your accomplishments, uh, in Dallas County today, nearly record turnout for a non-presidential year for first day of voting. Dallas County, very yeah, heavy blue. Good, good, good. And so does I that think, give you yeah, any pause? No, I think it's going to be good. I think that Ted's going to get a lot of votes from that are blue. I think we're going to get a lot of votes, both red and blue. And I would be very surprised to see anything but a big, fat, beautiful victory. Let me ask about the caravan of migrants coming up yeah, uh, to the United States. Today, you said you alerted the uh, military, you alerted the Border Patrol. Um, what factors will go into your decision whether you call the military to the border, and will that be here in Texas? Well, it's going to be here, and I've just spoken to your governor, your attorney general. I spoke to a lot of your people, Dan, and we, uh, we really have got a lot of great people from Texas, and our military people are working together. We just can't let them come in. It's just something we can't do. And what did you tell them as far as a timetable of a decision? Well, it looks like it's going to be a couple of weeks before they get here. And it's a big group of people. And once you lose control of your borders, you no longer have a country. I mean, you literally don't have a country. So we're going to maintain total control of our country, our borders. We pay to, uh, if you look at Honduras and you look at El Salvador, uh, we pay hundreds of millions of dollars to all of these countries. And they don't come through for us. And I hope Mexico is going to come through. We're going to find out soon enough, but I hope they do. Uh, you said today that you blame the Democrats for uh, the immigration yeah. situation. Yeah. And so what I'm wondering is uh, Republicans still control both houses. Uh, why can't they pass anything? Yeah, well, like in the Senate, you need 60 votes. We have 51 votes. I mean, we need nine Democrat votes, and we can't get them. They, they won't give you one vote. So we need more people. We need more, uh, more Republicans elected. In the House, we do pass things. We pass them a lot. But we can't get it by the Senate. We need more people. We actually need more people in the House, too. So we're going to see what happens. But 
I will tell you it's a great issue. It's an important issue. It's now coming to light. And the Democrats just won't allow legislation to be passed, even though they know it's bad for the country, but they think it's good for them as a party. It's not. It's really not. They, I think they overplayed their hand, just like they did with, uh, as you know, Justice Kavanaugh. They overplayed their hand, and that was a big loss for them. But they really did. Uh, they made a mistake, and I think they have a big mistake coming up. Uh, a lot of people say, did they start that? Did they infuse money into that? I have no idea, but I'll say, uh, they overplay their hand every time, and it hurts them.